my desire to share this stuff is a desire to be closer with you. Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. And I'm Brittany. And today we're gonna be talking about, I would say, the second most asked topic that we get. Second only to, to jealousy. jealousy. Which is huge, and that Brittany Taylor is working on an epic program. So stay tuned on that. I really am. Um, and, and, and this is around partners wanting different things or the presumption that maybe they want different things. So often we get people reaching out to us who say, you know, I really am interested in trying this open relationship thing or some variation of that. And I don't know what to do because, because insert thing here, my partner doesn't want to, I'm afraid my partner won't want to, I'm scared of this or that. The assumption that like, there's gonna be a conflict around talking about your feelings. And it, I mean, it really makes sense. It's a, it can be a scary topic. We know that this is still a taboo topic and taboo topics can be challenging to talk about. But the best thing we can do is talk about them. And the, this is the best opportunity to really make a deep and powerful connection with your partner around these topics that are challenging and difficult. I think what this comes down to is more of the big theme that we love talking about in life mm -hmm. and on this channel, which is how to have an authentic relationship with everybody, with yourself, with your loved ones, with your partner. And sharing authentically means like talking about the things that are on your heart and how you're really feeling and expressing them in a way that feels real for you. Mm -hmm. And holding space for your partner to do the same and encouraging your partner to hold space for you. It doesn't so much, yes, this, this video is about talking about opening up your relationship if that's you know what you're feeling like you wanna do and are feeling like you don't know how to do it, but more so we really want to be encouraging you to share about anything because we've found that to have amazing relationships, we have to bring our whole selves to them. Yes. And to do that, we have to just, we have to begin practicing that. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us haven't been encouraged to share all of ourselves and there's fear around rejection, et cetera. Absolutely. And what we hear from a lot of people is that there's a lot of assumption as to how sharing all of ourselves is going to be received by our partner. Um, and so in, in this situation, you know, we, we get a lot of questions like, I want to open up my relationship or I feel like I'm really attracted to other people, but my partner X, Y, or Z, my partner isn't going to be open to the idea or has maybe said at one point that they're not open to the idea or don't want that or that they equate it with this thing or that thing. And it just kind of gets put into this relatively negative space inside yeah. of one's narrative to the point where it does feel stuck and it can fester and it can start either doing one of two things, breaking down your relationship or breaking down your connection with yourself and who you really are, which eventually will just break down the relationship. So either way, it's, it's really not helpful to keep these things hidden. And it's also not really that helpful to establish a narrative that is one that's stuck. It makes sense that we could have an experience where maybe we bring something up and you're sharing something with me and it feels hard yeah. and I just like recoil in that moment and then yeah. I hold on to that and I assume that every time I bring up that thing, it's going to be hard. But we have gotten to the point where we just know that that is not the way things are. We, all of us, are constantly changing, constantly evolving and we have to give each other the opportunity yeah, to show up. That's a huge thing. We can't just keep assuming that they're gonna show up just like they did 10 years ago or whatever. We gotta give that new opportunity. So can I give a practical example of what that might look like? I'd love that. Okay, so say I have this assumption like, okay, there was this one time I brought up um, hanging out with other people with Connor and I felt like he felt resistant to it. This isn't like a this isn't true. This isn't a real thing. This isn't a okay. real thing. Because I was trying to remember when. No, I can't think about that, but <clears throat> okay. this would be helpful. So, um, and uh, so I feel like some things around bringing it up. So I could just like not bring it up. I could assume that the space is gonna go, the space isn't gonna be available for it, or I could do something a little differently and it could look like this. It could be like, hey Connor, I, I really wanna talk to you about something. Um, 
and I'm just noticing like some parts coming up for me inside around it and I realize it's just like assumptions I have and heaviness I have around it and I'd love to just be able to share that and create a space to remove it so that I can create like this new openness for what I actually want to share about and my desire to share this stuff is a desire to be closer with you. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> I just threw that together on the fly. That was great. You did I a great job. I just threw it together on the fly. And I want to say to that that, you know, for me as a receiver in that situation, two thing, a few things come up. Like there's a little bit like, oh man, there's something important here that she wants to talk about that's, yeah. that's kind of scary or, or also kind of exciting. But also like hearing your intention which is to be closer to me, to share more about you. Yeah. Those feel so genuine and so real that I, I feel immediately heart opening to that. Even if there is this also at the same time, maybe a little bit of fear, anxiety about what the topic's gonna be about. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think that that was beautiful. You know, Brittany set the stage for the overall intention is to be closer. The overall intention is not necessarily for you to get something done, like hang out with people, not hang right. out with people. The overall intention is, we, I want to share with you. Yeah. And I also really want to hold space for anything that you could feel around <clears throat> what I want to share. And I really just want to share more of me and for you to be able to share more of you and for us to ultimately get to grow more together, side by side, like becoming closer all the time, getting closer to ourselves and getting closer to each other. I love that. I want that too. And I feel like it's really easy to, it's much easier to receive in that space, no matter kind of what the other person has in store for us. And it's a beautiful place to be asked to hold space, to be asked to learn about someone else, to be asked if we would be open to accepting, learning, holding space for another human being. We get this kind of like power, you know, yeah. this beautiful power, this beautiful gift to operate from a powerful position. And it's really, it's, I think it's just lovely. <clears throat> and I want to say like, as the receiver to something like that, as the receiver in a situation where maybe something has been brought up in the past that was difficult and it's being brought up again, but it's in this new space, I feel the opportunity for, mm. for lack of a better word, redemption of sorts a it's not like oh i did something bad then and i can and i'm going to do it better now but there is a sort of like rebirth that feels really good like a new opportunity to show up in a healthful way yeah and i love that opportunity and i want to keep that going with you i want to embrace that and so i do feel very open to receiving whatever it is that you have to offer even if it is scary for parts of me even if i might have a reaction in this moment. You know, I might not hold space for you that well right now, but I want to, and I want to try, and I, and I relish in the opportunity to do that with you. And hearing that, like hearing that, I feel so, so much love towards you and so much connection. And I feel connected with you on our mutual desire. Mm -hmm. And that's what matters the most. Yeah. And then the other stuff we talk about, we can bring into that space that we've already set that says like, whatever that is, we're wanting to do it together. Cool. And I want to negotiate things with you. Like I really want your needs to get met. You know, it's help. It's good for me when your needs are getting met and it's yeah. good for you when my needs are getting met. Yeah. And I know that. And I know that we both know that and we both share that. So I don't have, I don't have fears. Like we don't care for one another. I think what comes up is, you know, there may be parts in me that have had experiences in my past that have, make it challenging to trust or make it challenging to feel worthwhile or make it challenging to feel like it's okay to be with myself or whatever the thing is that it may be bringing up for me. And I want to work through those on, on my own and when it's appropriate, I want to do it with you. And if I'm triggered by something that you say or a desire of yours, it's not like I want to shut that down, but I, I, I may need some time to sort of step back and, and get back into that, that self-loving place so that we can continue to negotiate in a helpful way. 
Yeah, thanks for sharing all that. And I'd love to hold space for you through that whole experience because this feels like it's about mutual expansion and we don't know what's going to be in store for us when we venture to new territories. Mm -hmm. And I want that to feel safe to do together. Me too. We've had a kind of like a lot of practice doing this, you know? We kind of do this stuff all, all the time, all day long, with each other, with other people, demoing it on videos like this. It's super important to us. But it doesn't mean that it's not something that's attainable for you or for anyone. It's absolutely possible and I think a really important thing for us to sort of be sharing with one another so we can see alternative approaches to doing it, to communicating. Connor's self-awareness in this demo is a huge part of why this interaction feels really calm and loving for me as the person who initiated the conversation right, right. in the demo. And that might not be mm -hmm. where the person that you choose to interact with is coming from at the time that they receive what you're sharing with them. And that's okay. Like we've had all sorts of interactions oh, yeah. with each other and with other people. What I want to say about that is that the fear of growth and expansion and how it may shift our relationships is real. It's, it's real to fear change. Mm -hmm. It happens for us. And also, I mean, a part of me wants to encourage you to go for it, to just to grow in the ways that feel really um, intuitive and ideal for you. But also the truth is it's just going to happen. You're going to expand at the rate that makes sense for you. It, pro it often happens that something becomes more uncomfortable to not do, so we do it. So it's gonna shift and change no matter what. And your, the space that you bring to those changes is what's going to set the tone for the people mm. that you link up with. Whether that be the partner that you have right now or maybe new partners down the road, maybe a combination. And you get to lead all that. You get to choose in each situation, you know? Maybe say your partner doesn't react in an ideal way and they feel like really triggered and scared. You get to choose how you show up for them. Mm -hmm. And that sets the tone. And we've definitely had experiences where we've been able to change the outcome and our outcome always, we're always in charge of like our outcome, but even like the bigger outcome based on what we show up with, the love that we continue to choose to hold and the understanding. And if you wanna hear more specifically about that, check out the video we did on that. Like my partner wants an open relationship and I don't because we talked about, um, well, I talked about my experience with shifting over from a partnership that somebody who didn't want to open up our relationship when I met Connor and and how I navigated that. Yeah, as you were sharing about this, you know, putting yourself out there to to sort of go to the next level that it's going to kind of happen anyway and you can kind of take charge of the vessel of change. Yeah. I was thinking about how much that has been true for for us as individuals and how much that has been true for the we that we create together. And we kind of both want to be doing it like this, you know? We've, we kind of have both decided and verbally said yes to communicating a, a lot and sharing our authentic selves with each other and choosing to grow, even though sometimes it's challenging, even though sometimes it can be downright painful. We choose to to grow because we believe that it's the best way to have the happiest, healthiest, and most sustainable life and relationship possible. That's what we're looking to do. And it makes sense that not everyone kind of has that priority, you know? We all have different excitements in life. But to find people that you can match up with there, that you can link up with there, I think is is really important. And in other relationships where I haven't been met there, I really notice it. Yeah. And I really just am so grateful to have established what we have established and to be sort of seeking out and putting time into other relationships where that same theme is present. The powerful thing that we can do with 
ourselves, I think, can be increased exponentially with someone else. And we can do amazing things on our own. We do this all the time because we love it, we're passionate about it, and I think we've gotten pretty good at it. I think we have some really good, good ideas about how to do this stuff effectively. So if you want to do this more in your life, if you want to grow in your relationship, you can check out our program, Creating Epic Relationships. You can do it with your partner, you can do it on your own, mm -hmm. and you can have a life-changing experience. You can also check out our membership website. We have a lot of amazing videos. We have raw processing videos where we sit down and talk about something that's real in our life. Yeah, this was a demo of like kind of a made up thing, and we actually do real things that are actually happening in the moment, and we we're chatting them out. Yeah, we just get triggered about something maybe, and yep. we're like, you wanna film it? Well, we talk. Oh, you wanna film it? <laughs> like, no, but yeah. <laughs> so. It's pretty unique yeah. and it's special, and like, like we've said a few times, we just put our heart into this into this stuff I and mean, we love it. We love sharing it with you. Yeah, we, we, love we, 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 we do think like we really have something to offer here. We've been putting in a lot of time into doing this stuff. And I know that I feel the happiest and the healthiest that I've ever felt. Same. Yeah, and we really want to share that with you because you deserve it. See you soon. So much love. Much love.